When I shipped the contents of my three bedroom townhouse in New York to London, I definitely made some mistakes when I was packing. Specifically, there are some electronic items that I regret leaving behind. Make sure you watch all the way until the end of this video when I share with you the voltage information you need when you're considering which electronic items you should ship from your move from the US to the UK. My general rule when I was packing was, if it plugs in, get rid of it. I knew from living here previously as a study abroad student that your basic adapters work for things like hair dryers, straighteners, and laptops. I really don't know why it didn't occur to me that I could use those adapters for things like my Pitzel iron, a Belgian waffle maker, and a crock pot. So I gave those away to friends before I came here. Although I don't think I would run a crock pot all day in a flat in London on an adapter unattended. I couldn't bear to give up my Cuisinart and a blender which were gifts from family members, so they were kind of sentimental. I just figured I would pack them and then get over to London and deal with it. Aside from the sentimental attachment I had to those items, I really wasn't sure what the equivalent would be in terms of quality when I got to the UK, so I packed my Cuisinart and my blender in my stuff. Once my shipment arrived in the UK, my British husband checked with a friend of his who's an electrician, and he suggested that if I purchased a step-up, step-down transformer that I could in fact use my Cuisinart. Trusting him, we bought the transformer through Amazon and take a look. Buying the transformer was a great decision because now my husband, Mr. Sonny, can still make his famous toad in the hole recipe by using the transformer and the Cuisinart. If you're interested in the toad in the hole recipe, which is really similar to Yorkshire pudding, it is on my blog. If you're packing a house in America to move to the UK, I have one basic rule that you can follow when it comes to appliances and electronic items, and that is if it has a really big motor, then you want to leave it behind. Another thing to think about when you're making decisions on electronic items is they are generally more expensive in the UK. For this reason, I purchased a Toshiba laptop just before I moved to London. I have used it consistently as a blogger and YouTuber for four years on just one of those adapters. Some quick ideas for ways to make decisions about your electronic items are try looking at amazon.com and then looking at amazon.co.uk to see the difference in prices on an item in the two different countries. I suggest Amazon not because this is a sponsored video, but because I live by Amazon Prime. You won't find stores like Best Buy or Home Depot or Office Depot, so I get pretty much everything I need through Amazon Prime. Next, remember, an adapter works just fine for items you use on a daily basis like my straightener and my laptop. Finally, as long as you're within a certain amount of voltage, a transformer works just fine when using items like a Cuisinart. Pin, like, or share this video if you found it useful. If you live in London or you're moving to London, subscribe so you don't miss the sunny news. Below, you'll find links to everything I mentioned, including my converter that I bought through amazon.co.uk. You can find tons of expat advice on the US versus UK section of my blog, and of course, my expat chat YouTube playlist. I'm always excited about answering your questions about the expat experience or living in London, so so please leave them in the comments below and of course find me anywhere on social media. Thank you for watching.